Hello everyone, this is Dawn and it is April the 11th, 2017 and I'm here, uh, last night was the full moon, the pink moon and um, have not checked in with what's going on in the world um, today um, but here where I am there is so much love and here where you are there is so much love so take just a moment to feel that love and to know that it is here for you in all manner of forms. And uh, it is being made manifest right now in your life. And this is a passage of scripture that is very dear to me and well known by uh, millions upon millions around the world and across all time and space. It is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, commonly known as the love chapter. Um, I've shared this passage previously, um, but today, you know, I want to share it in a new light and say that I believe that this portion of First Corinthians um, was written by Paul and was, in fact, a love letter that he wrote. It's a love letter, a letter of love, a love, an expression of love that he felt uh, for another individual, an expression of love and union within himself, a realization that love was the core, the heart and soul of who he was, um, in spite of his um, challenges, as we all have. And in addition, it was a love letter to the world that he left. It is a love letter that is ours to enjoy today. So here it is, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of men and angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. And where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection, as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love.